Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video that's going to be the final video in my Declutter series of 2022 and we are going to go through my lip products. Lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, bullet lipsticks, all of it. I'm going to show you everything I have and I'm going to let you know which ones make the cut and which ones I'm decluttering. And if you haven't been here before, I would love to see you subscribe. I do upload right now, every day until Christmas, but I do upload very often normally as well. We are all about enjoying and having fun with makeup here. So if that sounds fun, I'd love to see you tomorrow as well. So we're at the final episode of my declutter series. If you wanted to go back and see any of my other declutters, I would leave my full playlist down below. It's very bingeable. It of course has the episodes of this year, which is like, you know, foundations, concealers, bronzers, highlighters, eyeshadow palettes. That was last week, but we are ending it up with lipstick declutter. I'm going to go through all of them. Going to let you know which ones I like, which ones are my favorites. I'm wearing one of my favorites today, actually. I will leave in the description box down below. I will leave what I have on my face right now. I also did film this eye look for like a short, like just a tutorial. And I will leave a link to that as well in case you're interested in how I did this. And when it comes to lip products, if they are unused or only swatched, which sometimes happens when you get a full collection, I will either give them away or if they're unused, I will put them in giveaways. But if they're used, like if it's old lipsticks, I will throw them away because it can be really hard to sanitize lip products. Some you can, some you can't, but yeah, I do not send out my old makeup to my subscribers. It's very expensive to ship stuff in 2022 and it also takes a real long time. So please do not ask for my makeup in the comments. I do have a giveaway open on my channel right now in case you're interested in that. You'll be able to find that giveaway. It was posted at the end of November and it says giveaway on the thumbnail. That's how you'll be able to find it if you are interested in getting some new makeup, but please do not ask me for my makeup in the comments. But let's get into my my lip product declutter. Okay, welcome to my last declutter of the season. I'm excited to get this on the road and to be done. There is so many lip products here. It's, I was saying it's a borderline ridiculous, but like I'm so past the borders that if I turn around and look, the border's a dot. That's where I'm at right now. But I will say my problem with lip products is not that I don't like these. It is that I have too many colors of formulas and I, f I just need to I need to just get this to be less <laughs> am I making sense probably not and I also will say there's been a lot of lip products that's come into my life this year that I'm not a hundred percent convinced that I love and I also need to have less shades of some formulas that like like this this is the let's let's actually start here I have a big box here I have a big box where I'm gonna put the ones I declutter and then at the end, we'll see how many I declutter. But let's start with this. This is a really good example of what's gone, I'm, I'm saying this lightly wrong with my collection this year. This is a formula that I really like. I got sent all of these from Lethal Cosmetics. These are called the, hold, 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 hold. These are called the, nothing. Is there nothing? Really? Hello? Lethal Cosmetics. Oh my god, I, there's not a name on these. Are, are they kidding me? Are you shitting me? Okay, I think these are like a blur kind of a lipstick. There's like a blur, blurry kind of a lipstick. They sent me all the shades and I do not need all the shades. I, I don't need all the shades. Let me just put it like that. So I'm just going to pick a couple. Wait, I actually have a reel of this. Should I watch and see which ones I like the most? But I can probably already tell from this. I can probably already tell from this that it's not the pink, which is called Tailwind, because I don't see myself using colors like this a lot. But maybe that's the reason why I should keep it. Wait, let me go look at the reel <laughs> to see which one, because I have a lip swatching reel. Okay, hold, hold. Okay, so I've been eating nerds and watching that reel, and I've decided that I am keeping leeward i am keeping airwave and i'm keeping overfly these are the shades that i'm keeping <laughs> i'm gonna put those to the side and let's see if we can get one of these containers to be empty so that we can have some kind of an organization going on these are the lip oils by lunar beauty i love these these are the two new ones definitely keeping them i think these are absolutely amazing i'm so happy i came out with these two they're a little bit more on the pigmented side these are the uh, lipsticks by we makeup and i really like this formula but have i used this since we moved here this one is in 34 
I mean, have I used the lip? I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I'll get rid of one color. I really do like this formula. I should be using this more. This is a really, really nice formula. This is one of the collabs that they have. This is Yumeo. I've never used it. Literally, it's so beautiful. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm a dumb dumb. We're definitely using that one. We also have some of the lipsticks by LH Cosmetics here. These are really pretty as well. Do I need to keep all of them? Is this the red that I would go for? That is cherry. This one is in dusty pink. That doesn't seem like a me shade, although that one was pretty. I don't think I'll be using that red. This one is uh, sepia. This one I really do like. This one is light. I could like something like this. Hmm. I Sometimes I want a really light lipstick and then it's really nice to have one. Let me just put it like that. Here's another really light one. Okay, so which one do I like more? I'm going to get rid of the dusty pink. I, I, that's, that's, like I said, one of the things that I need to do is to have less shades of the ones I like. Oh, I think if we're looking at this, I think that this one is more my shade. The one that is... Oh, this was Mellow Mauve. Okay, I'm a dumb dumb. So we're keeping Mellow Mauve and we're keeping Sepia. And we're getting rid of this one that's called Light Beige. Then we have some of the lipsticks by Juvia's Place here as well. Uh, let me just see. I have a bunch of these. Do I need to keep all of this? I'm not 100% sure about that. Let me put this to the side. This is Muted. This is beautiful. This is such a beautiful, like, cool tone beige. I really do like that one. Then we have So Red. This is a really nice, bright, lighter red. I actually do like that one. I think I'm gonna keep it. Then we have a Freak that is more like a true red. And this is what I'm saying. If I would reach for a red, it would probably be this one. And we have Frenemy, which is a super dark lipstick. There is a time and place for Frenemy. Look at how deep that is. There is definitely a time and place for that one. Then we have Me which is probably my favorite color or is let me see what i have here or is toffee my favorite or is lady my favorite <gasps> this one okay these are all so beautiful you know what i'm gonna keep these i know that i swatched all of these in last year's declutter uh in vogue Oof, do i need that one though that kind of a peach. Let's get, let's try and get rid of something. I love toffee. I know in last years I swatched all of these and compared them. So I know that all these are good. This one is lady. This one is like a yellowy beige. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And now we have two of the deeper ones here. Drama queen and fierce. This is like a dark red. What is this one? Okay, so this is more of a purple, this is more of a berry, and this is more of a red. I think I'm gonna get rid of the purple, and I'm gonna save the red again, just because I need to have a little less lipsticks. Then we have the ones from BK Beauty. These are really nice, and I am gonna keep these, because I've heard rumors in the corridors that she's coming up with more shades. So I'm gonna save these so that I can have them as comparison. Because, like, all of these are pretty pinky nude. And I'm hoping that she will come out with some that are, like, more... Maybe a bit more of a beige nude. But these are all very pretty colors, though. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping these for reference. The packaging of these is just, like... Ugh. So pretty. Okay, let's look at the ones from Odensei. I know I saved all of these last year because um, uh, because they were fairly new and I wanted to keep these as reference. They haven't come out with any lipsticks since, so I might just save a few. That was also red. Because I feel... What kind of shade do I want to keep? This one is in Tulip I Kiss, which is a really nice, like, almost brownish red. I might keep that one. Because this is a red one, this red cherry. I know there is one that is a little bit more on the muted side. Is this more my style? This is more my style, right? Maybe I'll keep, I'll keep these two, the two lightest ones, because I'm more likely to use those. Because sometimes it's really good to have lipsticks left from a brand. Uh, ooh, if you're doing like a full face or if you just want to talk uh, about the brand as a whole. So I'm going to save that and then I'm going to put back the uh, lipsticks that have already 
I had. And then maybe I'll organize this a little bit more at the end. But now we know that this box is done and I will scooch in some new ones just so we can get this to be a little easier. So here is where things have gone south because there's a couple of things here that I don't use. For some reason, I don't use this formula by uh, Floresis. So I'm getting rid of that one. This one is actually, I'm gonna throw this away. This is the 90s roller gloss by City Color. It doesn't, like, it doesn't roll. Oh, now it's rolling. Oh my God, it's rolling. All of a sudden it's working. It smells so good, but yeah, this one has been faulty all the year and just because you get to work right now doesn't it doesn't mean you get to stay so you get, You don't get to stay. I have some of these so glassy lip glosses here Can I say that the first time I tried these I hated them, but they have grown on me so much <laughs> In a way that I didn't think and now I've gone to really like them so I am actually gonna keep these and I apologize for giving these such a harsh review. They grew on me and I actually really like them. They are very glassy on the lips. This lip set from, I don't know where the last one is, from um, Glamlight. The thing that I don't like about Glamlight's lipsticks, and I really hope that they're able to do different in the future, is that all of them are sold as sets and that makes it really hard to know which ones are available, which ones are not, which ones you can talk about. So I think I'm gonna just give these to someone because I've only used one of them and the other ones I've only swatched. Oh, I think this is the one that I've used. I think the only the other ones I've only swatched. So I'm gonna be able to give that to someone. Uh, oh, here's another one as well that I've only swatched. That was the set, I think. I used to love these Nabla creamy dreamy lipsticks, but I haven't used this since last declutter. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This is something that in theory, I love this. In theory, I love the Lux glosses from the Winnie the Pooh collection, but I don't love the gloss formula. Like I don't love this Lux formula. I much prefer this one. So I'm actually gonna declutter these, even though I really, I really like the, the whole Winnie the Pooh thing, but like, yeah, here's another one. And look at this color. The color is perfection, like a burnt orange. Should I just keep this one because the color is so good? Okay, don't tell anyone. Don't tell my mom. I'm keeping that one because the color is so good. And the REM gloss, this one, I didn't like how this one felt on the lips. It's stingy on the lips and I don't love that. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that. That is a plumping gloss. I have one of these This Is Juice glosses by NYX. I heard that people love this. I, mm, it smells wonderful. I think that this is super sticky on the lips. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this one as well because I love this formula so much better. And I even have three. I have one here as well. This is Milky Glosses. These are so nice. So I have it in Cookies and Milk. I have it in, uh, is it? I think this is a Mil Ming Chok Chip, and I have the, the one that's a Mango Lassi. feel like, is this it? And I wonder if this one was the one that I didn't, didn't love the color. Because I feel like this is the old formula, because I have one that's honey. Where's the honey one? Oh, here it is. Yes. So this is the old one. This one, this is the old one and I love the formula, but I didn't love the color on me. So I'm getting rid of that one and I'm saving these three. So it's an orange and it is a warmer nude on me. And then it is an actual pretty wearable green. So I'm gonna save these because I love these colors a lot more. This one I'm gonna save because I use it sometimes for popsicle licks. lips. This is a lip marker. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, you're supposed to be in here. It's one of those that you can just draw in on your lips. So it's like a lip tint. And I use that from time to time. Um, this is a, an old gloss from Alien Cosmetics. They are now Unearthly Cosmetics. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that one. I also have this Wet Cherry Gloss by Lime Crime. I used to wear this quite a lot. You can see I've actually used quite a lot, but I haven't used this for quite some time. I found other favorites, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Here's another one of those uh, Nabla Creamy Dreamy. Oh my God, I used to love this one. Is this still available? I'm gonna save this one just because it's such a favorite, but I feel like this has been buried in my collection, but it's so good. This is a Lipophoria. It's a gloss and balm from Natasha Denona. This one is in mauve. It is so beautiful. I hope that is still available. Oh, this one I'm saving only for the nostalgia of it. This is a lip gloss from the Mac and Star Trek collection. This is old. I'm not using this on my lips. It's only for the kicks. This is called Khan. 
<laughs> if you know, you know. So we're, we're keeping that one. Um, this gloss from Beauty Bay, it's pretty good, but I found other favorites. I'm getting rid of it. Um, this MAC and Stranger Thing gloss in the yellow. Such a cool gloss to layer on top of lipsticks that you want to pull more warm. Absolutely stunning, definitely keeping. And I also bought one from e.l.f. that's here somewhere that has a similar thing to this. I probably should use them side by side in some kind of video, but it, we will find it. And then it is the original gloss bomb by Fenty. These glosses, I used to love these so much, but I think that these have been replaced by the So Glassy lip glosses. I only wish the So Glassy also was minty like these then it would be amazing. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these, which surprises me as well. But I think I have fully committed to the so glassy ones. Let me just rearrange here a little bit so that we can get some of these other things out of the collection. This is a gloss from Arati Cosmetics. This is the Cupid lip gloss. Really love this color. It's actually a pink that I really like. So I'm saving that one. Here's another one from Floresis that I haven't used. I'm gonna give that one away. Oh, I love the Rare Beauty one. I even bought a new one. I wonder if that is here somewhere. Like I said, it's a little bit of a chaos. I bought another color. I bought that color that is... Uh, all the um, proceeds went to the Rare Foundation um, to support people who are struggling with mental health. I bought that color. It could be here somewhere. If we find it, I'll definitely keep it. Then we have the Laura Lee lips liquid lipsticks. Is it only one here? Oh, here are the other ones. I'm blind. So I have three of these. I think I'm gonna save them for reference because I think that this is a really nice formula and I want to get more use out of them because I honestly think that she had done really good with her formulas. I'm keeping those. Uh, I have, this is from Lunar Beauty. Oh, they're a little bit all over the place here. These are two liquid lipsticks from Lunar Beauty. I have the orangey one that is called Hallow's Eve and then I have Aphrodite that is the classic red. Keeping bo both of these because I also think that this is a really good formula. Do I want to have the Lunar Beauty at the same space here maybe? We can do a little bit like indie corner. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Famous last words. Oh, let me move these here. These I'm actually going to get rid of. And I don't hate these, but these colors are not exactly what I go for. I think that this one is a little bit too light for me. And these are a little bit too milky sparkly for me. This is the Glam Light in Michaela number one uh, glosses. So I'm going to get rid of those. I also have... Oh, here's another lip oil from Lunar Beauty. I think... One or maybe even two of these might be in my purses downstairs, but I love this, so I'm keeping that one as well. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, this Melt. This is a Melt liquid lipstick in golden. Such a beautiful yellowy color. Definitely saving it. It's like a mustard color. If you're looking for liquid lipstick with a different color, that could be the one. Uh, here is a Jaclyn liquid lipstick. I have it in uh, Cancer. I'm a Cancer. This is actually really nice. I like her formula, I don't love it, but again, it's nice to have a liquid lipstick from her formula that I like, so we're saving that one. This one I haven't used for a hot minute, and this is a Tatouage Couture Matte Stain in number 17 from YSL. I haven't used this in a hot second, so I actually think I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't even know, how old is this? Let's get rid of that one. And then I have the Linda Halberg. Oh, this is in Deep nougat. nougat. This is the liquid lipstick. This color is so stunning. Look at that. Look at that color. Like, do you see? Oh, so pretty. I also have this in orange red. It's also here somewhere. Also a beautiful color. Somewhere in this, <laughs> in this neighborhood. I think Kaleidos discontinued the lip tonics. And these are pretty old, so I think I'm gonna get rid of those. I also have an old... This used to be my favorite color. This is Knock on Wood. I used to love this color, but this liquid lipstick is old. Like, it is old, old. But you see what I like? I like a milk chocolate beige neutral color that is not too cool toned and doesn't have too much peach in it, but it's still not cool toned. Really love this color, but yeah, this is old. And this really needs to go at this point. And the same with this one. This is the Hydromat in Madison Avenue by Gerard. Like, these are old. Like, I, I... Even though I like them, I have to get rid of them. I have some of these. This is 1995 Ecstasy and Bear It All. Oh my god, who remembers how people were crazy about the 1995? 
crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those as well. Oh, again, here's the same. Here's the exact same. I think that these are sold only in a set. And I think that these are the lip products from the Glamlight Cocktail Collection. And these are all nice, but like, I want them to be sold separately. So I'm actually gonna declutter these because like, it just annoys me a little bit. Oh, here's another one of these lipsticks from Juvia's Place. I'll save this one as well with 20, 2020, hashtag 2020. Oh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. But here's another one of the Jacqueline liquid lipsticks. Okay, so one is a little bit more cool tone and one is a little bit more like warmer. I'll, I'll save both. And here is one of the lip oils. So here's one and then one is in my purse downstairs. Lunar Beauty, I'm saving that one. Here is the liquid lipsticks from, these say Alien Cosmetics and she has come up with new colors and they say Unearthly Cosmetics. And I know that she discontinued some of these colors. I think it was two or three and I'm not 100% sure which ones they were. But I will figure that out, but I'm gonna save all of these because they are back in stock. And I really like this formula, the Satin Liquid Lipsticks from Alien Cosmetics. They are incredibly good and I definitely don't wanna get rid of them. These are liquid lipsticks and lip glosses by Sigma. I like Sigma's formula, but everything is pink. Everything is pink and I'm gonna need them to come out with something that's not pink. Cause I don't really do pink. <laughs> And I'm, it's just a little bit frustrating. These are the House Labs crayons. I bought this one when House Labs launched at Sephora. This is in peach matte. And I was so in love with the formula that I decided to get current matte as well. And these are just so comfortable, so pretty, so like, just look smooth and wonderful on the lips. They're lightweight and not drying, but still looks like a comfort matte. Cannot recommend this formula enough. I really do love them. I think that this formula has also been discontinued. This is by Una's Eye and this is the liquid lipstick formula. I had one of the oranges left. Maybe I'll get rid of that one as well. And I know people were going bananas over this. I think this is, you know, this is the one you're supposed to shake from Urban Decay. I have it in PDA. Uh, and it's a really nice color but I hate this formula. I think it's sticky, I think it's goopy, I think it feels heavy on the lips and I'm just not a fan. So I'm actually gonna declutter it. I bought it with my own money, but I'm just not very impressed. I don't know if I have more of these Ever Liquid Lipstick. Yeah, I do. Wait, I have it, oh here. Yeah, I have some of the colors that I really like. This is a matte liquid lipstick that dries down completely. Why is this so goopy? Do I wanna know? What does it smell like? Vanilla. I have a really bright orange, like a really bright orange. It is just a bright warm orange. And then I have a bright orange that's a little bit more on the corally side. It looks like that. And these two colors are, let me tell you the numbers, cause they're numbers. So the warm orange is 25 and the corally orange is 38. And then I have this one that's called 91. And it is like a cool tone green, like a army green such a beautiful color really like all three of these they are definitely getting to stay in my collection i just have some things here that i feel like i want it oh here are more of those wine ones from glam like yeah this was set with five products and i just feel like that is a little bit too much if i'm gonna be honest there is a lunar beauty lip gloss here it is in covered we are saving that one another one of those lip tonics by kaleido i think that these have been discontinued so let me get rid of that one one more lip gloss by Luna Beauty. I'm saving that. Ooh, here are more lip glosses. Eee. Let me put those in here. I'm gonna have to organize that a little bit in a, in a while. I will get rid of these glosses by Nabla. Let me see if I can just, these. These are the Shine Theory glosses. These are beautiful, but I haven't used them in a bit and I think they are about to turn old. Uh, I have one of these soul lip glosses and I'm gonna save it for reference because I do really love the makeup This is one of the newest lip products in my collection and this is the Natasha Denona my like dream collection It's the my dream lip gloss. It is so beautiful. It is just such a perfect pinky Beige and I don't even like pink, but I like this pink I just, yeah, I just think it's so beautiful and I love this formula so much. We're definitely keeping that. But I will say this formula 
where did I put it here? This formula that is from About Face, I actually, first time I used it, I was like, oh, that looks so pretty, but it doesn't wear that pretty, so I'm actually gonna declutter this lip gloss formula. This one is from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the collab that she did with Erin Weaver. I am gonna uh, save this one because it's a really nice lip gloss, but I'm gonna get rid of this blue sparkly one. I think they've discontinued it, and I haven't used it in a really long time. Don't know about these ones. What is this? Oh, it's not. I'm, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. I don't know if these are still available from Odin's Eye. The um, shiny lip tints. Oh my god, I'm, I'm rocking this entire table. I'm so sorry. It still smells wonderful. Maybe I'll just hang on to these a little bit more and we'll see where the future takes us because those are beautiful. I saw that I had two of the glosses by Lethal Cosmetics. I have it in Nova and Paradox. These are stunning. These are semi-opaque glosses with a high shine with a beautiful transparent color and no glitter and they are wonderful. Both of these colors, highly recommend, definitely saving. Here are two glosses by Juvia's Place. This one I think has separated. Can you tell? This one looks a little weird. So let me get rid of that one. But I actually want to save this one. This is the Juvia's Place gloss in Ruby Rose. And this one is my favorite when I want to have like a sheer red like gloss. Because this one just looks beautiful on the lips. I have really been enjoying this gloss and I've worn it quite a few times. And I want to save it because there are times when I want to use something like that. Although I will say that this one has also served a similar purpose in my collection. But I'm going to keep this around for a little bit longer and we'll see how much good use I can get out of it. This one is from LH Cosmetics and this is the, it's also that formula that you like, you shake it and then it's like a glossy. I don't love it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. These are really beautiful though. Do I need all of them? It's the Infinity Lip Gloss. They're very wearable and pretty. Do I need all of them? I'm gonna get rid of the lightest one. Or am I? You know what? I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep them and I'm gonna, next time I use them, or if I don't use them at all, then I'll declutter them last, not next year. But like, I'm gonna make a mental note when I use them, which colors I like and which colors I can like live without. Let me see if I can move some things around so that we can organize this a little better. This one I have never used. This is by Half Magic Beauty. I was sent this as PR, so I'm definitely keeping it because like I've never used it. Oh, the way that I fell in love with the Give Beauty like bullet lipstick formula, I only have bought the matte lipsticks. I haven't bought the uh, satin ones, but I've heard that those are great too. If you like a nice matte lipstick, these are great. If you hate matte lips, these are not going to persuade you, but I think that these look blurring. They are so opaque and thin and comfortable and long wearing, and I love them. So I have the two nude shades, and then I have the original red one. I just think that these are so nice. Like, I am thoroughly impressed with this formula. I think this is one of the best things that have been released this year. And yeah, I you know I love it when I go back and buy more shades. That is how you know. Oh my god, the way that people went crazy for this one, by the way. This is the Fenty Lip Tint. I bought the orangey one. I These have been sold out for so long. People went bananas for these. And I I mean, I get it, but at the same time, I don't. Because it's like, I mean, it's nice, but it's like, it's not groundbreaking. But I mean, I'm gonna keep it. It's beautiful. But I was a little bit surprised at the kind of hype that that product got. I also bought another color of the Vive matte lipsticks. I had this one from before. This is 90s. This is a really beautiful color and it's actually probably, yeah, really similar to that color that I loved for the exact same reason. This one is just a little lighter, but it's just a really beautiful, like milk chocolate brown without being too peachy, but without being cool toned. I think that that is beautiful. And I also bought the Coming In Hot uh, which is just a little bit more, a little darker and just a little bit more orange in it. But there are subtle nuances to this one. But this is a beautiful formula and I love both of the colors. And if she comes out with more colors that I want, 
I can definitely see myself getting them. I have a bunch of Natasha Denona lipsticks. Some of the limited edition one and some of the ones in original packaging. This is the one from My Perfect Lipstick. I think this is beautiful. I hope she comes out with more lipsticks in this more glossy formula. This one is Charlotte. This is a yellowy nude. I'm gonna keep all of these because I love this formula. This one is, is it Athena? Yes, this is Athena. It's a more pinky nude. It's really pretty. Oop. And this one is the Amorosa. It just came out as like a limited edition around uh, Valentine's Day. And then we have the two that came with the I Need a Nude collection. These are pretty light, if I'm gonna be honest. And I don't know if I need both of these. Are these colors? I don't ever reach for these. Again, I'm gonna make the same thing here. I'm gonna make it um, a bit of a mission to try these out and see if these are colors that I actually go for now that like, yeah, I have less in my collection. That's gonna be something. This is Noah. This is my absolute favorite. This is a little bit, it's the same kind of style as this one. You can tell what I like. But this one has a little bit more of a cool tone, undertone to it. You can tell. It's a little bit more taupey, but it is stunning. Love Noah. I had two of these dragon lipsticks by... It's not CC, but it's like a sister brand of CC Cosmetics. Like, this, these are beautiful. So I have one that's red that's unused. And I actually think I'm going to give this one away. And keep this one that is like this dark burgundy. Like a burgundy, like brownish shade. I think I'm going to like keep this one and I'll give the other one away because it's unused. Again, I have two of the MAC and Star Trek lipsticks. These are not for use. You can tell they have a lot of wax blooming. These are not for use. I'm just saving them to remind myself of a time where you can get Star Trek makeup. So this one is in Cling It On and Where No Man Has Gone Before. They're genius. We're saving them. I have some MAC lipsticks here. Am I really going to be... Oh, there's a bite lipstick here. Oh, this is the one that I made myself, right? Yeah, this is orange. This is like a... This is their sheer formula. Uh, and it's like a sheer brownie orange. Not like a bright orange, but it's like a brownie orange. It is beautiful. Mm, I had some mango in it. I made this together with Samantha March when we were in... New York together, and I love it. Obviously, I'm keeping it. How about these MAC lipsticks? This one is from the fall collection, I think, last year. They did this yellowy shade, but I will be honest, when I reach for yellow lipstick, because I do love a mustard lipstick, this isn't the one I reach for, so I might get rid of that one. And then I have... Let me see. I have Impulsive, which is a powder kiss. I love this color. Again, can you tell what kind of colors I like? This one is a little bit more on the lighter side, though. But, oh, yeah, definitely keeping. And then I have this one, Devoted to Chili. Never used. I asked in one of my recent declutters, if you want to see me do a video where I use makeup that I've never used, let me know, because obviously <laughs> I have some. This is a girl's got needs. Can you? Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm getting rid of that one. And then I have two of these luster glass lipsticks and it's business casual. Beautiful wearable red, love it. These are more newer ones as well. And this one is thanks, it's MAC. Which is actually a pink that I enjoy. Should use these a little bit more because they're really, really good. Okay, again, should we just scooch things over so we can get more space? I feel like I'm, I'm somewhat getting through this. Am I doing okay? <laughs> Am I doing okay? This is pretty new in my collection and I really enjoy this one. This is from REM Beauty and it is the liquid lipstick. And honestly, this is really good. I've been fairly impressed with REM Beauty. And I think that this one is a really nice formula and it is in the shade Topless. I'm gonna save it. Then we have these lipsticks. I don't know what they were thinking with these colors because they're so extremely unwearable, but yeah, this this is where we are. I'm actually gonna get rid of these because I just never use those. I, I They're weird to me. This is the Jaclyn Lip Oil. Um, I wasn't as impressed with this one as other people were. I thought it was good, but I don't think it's as good as some other lip oils I have. And I also thought for being this color in the tube, it is extremely unpigmented and it surprised me a little bit. This is the Maracuja Lip Plump and this one is in Peachy Beige. 
this is really pretty and uh, like this is so pretty i really do enjoy this one we're definitely keeping this one i'm so happy i found this this year oh and this one this is from m cosmetics this is a lip cushion tinted lip luminizer in faded clementine if you didn't know my favorite is actually oranges i love a good orange look at that it's so pretty like what are you gonna do like it's so pretty what is this oh this is the black honey from clinique definitely keeping that one as well this one i'm actually gonna get rid of this is the model actors i got it from trixie this is not the kind of orange that i go for let me actually like compare because this is a little too neon and it's a little bit too cool tone i like an orange that has more yellow in it and i feel like this one is a little bit too cool tone so i'm gonna get rid of that one these are really nice these are by makeup by mario i have two of these i don't know where the other one is but i'm keeping both of them this is an old lipstick from <laughs> h&m beauty and i used to keep this because i'm like oh i cannot dupe this one but look like they're all the same the call is coming from inside the building <laughs> they're all the same Oh, this is another one of my favorite orange lipsticks. It's a matte orange. I bought this one together with my husband when we were in, I think we were in Italy. He doesn't remember. I think we were in Rome and I know we walked to the Sephora and he helped me pick this one up, but he doesn't remember that. But I remember that. Pepperidge Farm remembers, but he doesn't. Oh, here are more of those lipsticks from Melt. Um, again, look at this. It's like pink glitter like i understand the innovation but these colors are weird this is a bright pink with glitter i just who is who is wearing these look at that that's a neon pink peach i these are weird colors and i really think they should have rethought those colors if i'm gonna be honest this is the rasha which is a cream lipstick by huda beauty love this formula love this color we are keeping her and then we have oh this is lipstick by jura cosmetics this is mystic moon this is actually a, a newer one because i actually did get a newer one so i'm gonna keep this one because i think it's a really pretty cool tone shade this lipstick by hindash is really pretty and very unusual for me because this is actually a pretty pastel peach but I love this formula and I want to keep this for future reference if he releases more colors. Plus, it is a very unique color to my collection. So it gets to stay. I also have this lipstick. I think this is in Tiramisu from uh, Aryan Beauty. This is the original lipstick. The one that has not the slim tube, but like the bigger one. These are great. I don't think the one in the slimmer tube is here because I think it is in the review pile. But I did try the lipstick in with the slimmer ones as well. Those are even better. I love them so much. I love that one so much that I bought another shade. That's how much I love that formula. But this one gets to stay too. And then I have, oh, this one, the glowy lipstick from Fenty. It's in like cookies and something, cookies and cocoa. This is also pretty. It also gets to stay. I think that formula is still available. Now, should I put the REM here, maybe? I don't know what I'm doing. And then I have these lipsticks by LH Cosmetics. I know that I went through this last time and picked out my favorite shades. This is Ametrine. So I think I'm just going to be okay with the ones that I picked out last time. Look at this orangey one. It is called Cultured. Look at that. Why do I not use this one enough? This is a beautiful formula by LH Cosmetics. If you ever make an order from LH Cosmetics, definitely try one of these. They are so beautiful. I think this one is just containing some of my favorite orange lipsticks, if I'm going to be honest, because uh, I had them here and I have moved some with time. So these are not all of them, but I know you're always interested in orange lipsticks that I uh, like. Some of them have already been mixed in, like this one, for example. They're these are not all of them, but these are some of them. This is the e.l.f. lip stain, and this one is in Coral Cutie. Really beautiful lip stain. Definitely recommend it. I also love, love this Lux lip oil from Colourpop. This one is in Hot Spark. This, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a pastel orange. So beautiful. And I also really love this new color that they came out with. It's more like a hot coral. And this is in 22F4. This is in the collection with the BT21. So I don't know if this is still available, but 
both of these luxe lip oils are absolutely stunning i also love this lipstick from uh, charlotte tilbury this is the most orange that she has ever gone and this is called stoned rose honestly like this is pretty orange if we're gonna be totally honest this is pretty orange uh, so if you wanted to try a luxury orange maybe this could be something for you and then we have the oh this is the red orange from linda halberg this liquid lipstick in red orange is so pretty it's so so pretty i should really oh my god this is me making a mess i should really put this together with the other linda halberg where did i put that one is that here yeah it's here i see it this one is here let's <laughs> put them together i have two of the sephora brand lipsticks here this one is hot in havana i'm pretty sure yes this is hot in havana bright orange this this is like bright orange and then we have this one that is oh my god the colors on top adventuring look at that matte comfort matte and this beautiful like oh so beautiful it's the one with the giraffe on the top and uh, oh this is just this sample this is actually this is actually the Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. I have it in a small one. You do need to have this, like when you're doing YouTube, sometimes some things you need to have for reference. And here's the other one um, of the glowing lips from Fenty. And this one is in, I think it's Tang or something, Tang Fang. Uh, it's the same as this one. It's just that I have an orange as well. This one is almost orange. And this is from the collection that Colourpop came out with this summer, like with the palm springs inspired one this one was in desert aura uh, maybe this one had the name on the side yeah bffs because now i see these have the same number on the bottom so this one is called bffs i'm just i'm just a little silly this is pretty orange i do wish that colourpop would come out with one of these in a more warmer orange but this will do until then. This is the glowing lip formula from Colourpop. I have more of these in my collection. They're really stunning. And then this is expensive, but this is Gucci and this is Gucci like glowing lip. Can you see how similar that? So beautiful, but this is so yellow toned. It's just so beautiful and it has a cat hair on it. Okay, there you go. Which color is this? This is in Louis orange, Louise orange maybe even absolutely stunning okay i need to go wash my hands <laughs> and then we can see if we can get some of these in because i am definitely not done okay one of my favorite formulas is the Lux lip oils by colourpop and i think i'm gonna have a hard time getting rid of any of the ones i have uh, don't come for me so i have four here plus the two that i already showed you that i put here um where is it here i love this one. Oh, there's one more <laughs> there's one more i just really love that oh there's another one don't come for me i just really love this formula i think it's super good i, I trust this formula a lot so i am going to be keeping those Ooh, I have some of the Juvia's Place ones here. Mm, I think I'm gonna save the one that is grape because I have not been using these a lot this year. So I think I'm gonna save the grape and I'll get rid of this ones. Is this the orange one? No, this is not the orangey one because I have one of those that is an orange, but now I'm unsure where I put it. When we find the orange, we're keeping it. Or is it in my purse? I'm not 100% sure. Oh god, this one we can get rid of. This is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm Icy. It's not icy, it is super stingy. It makes my lips feel like they're on fire. I don't like this one. Let's put that in the, let's put that in the pile. Then we have this one. This is a really wonderful one. This is a glowy lip balm by Givenchy. And this is in black pink. And it is really luxurious and really pretty and really different and i really like this one and i'm definitely keeping it then i have some of these lip oils by um sigma i really like these as well i will say i never used the clear one so maybe i'll actually get rid of that one because i only use the ones with color because i don't use lip oils when i go to bed at least not something like this 
Or should I keep? Hmm. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that one. I mean, I still have three. I really like these. I think this is an amazing formula. These are so well used in my collection. Absolutely love them. This is also one of my most used lip products in my collection. This is the uh, balm. Is it called liquid balm? Uh, yeah, liquid balm in nearly neutral by Rare Beauty absolutely stunning i've used this so many times it is such a beautiful formula i absolutely love it we're definitely keeping it then we have the nars what is this one called oh my god why is the text so small this is the afterglow lip balm in torrid and it is shockingly enough an orange i'm gonna keep it because i think it's really pretty but i will say it's not the most used one in my collection but it serves a purpose for comparisons this one is pretty but i never use it it's from the powerpuff girls this one smells like apple i mean was this really meant for adults i don't know maybe it was i'm not I, I, i'm not how i'm not meaning to insult you i'm just saying that i didn't find a purpose for this in my collection this one is really pretty i'm gonna save it it's from sephora lip stories and this is the glowy lipstick that they came up with and this is in number two two brilliant shine <laughs> literally that is the name of the shade two yeah i know innovating Okay, we have a couple of more things here. We have the Hangover Pillow Balm by Too Faced. I really like these. I have two. One is in my purse. One is here. This is in Cocoa Kiss. Then we have the Frosted Flakes Lip Set. I don't remember, but I'm fairly sure that I didn't love this super... Yeah, this is like a very, very uh, icy lip gloss. I think we can get rid of that one. I have a couple of unused things here from About Face that I never got to. So these I'm also going to get rid of and I'm going to give those to someone else. I will say, I love this color. This color is in Canyon on Fire. It is such a beautiful color, but I don't love this liquid lipstick formula. I mean, this one just feels a little drying on my lips. What are these other colors? This is in Through the Fields and this is in Not Your Baby. I, I don't know if I should give this like another try. So I think I'm going to save two colors and I'm going to give this another try. But I haven't had the best luck with this formula. Was this the color? Yeah, this is a very like pastel peach. This is not my lip color. This is the Kellogg's and Frosted Flakes collection. I think I'm doing fairly good. That one is not done. And this one is not done. Let me see if I can move some of these to the side. We have one here. This is the Ace Beauté. So maybe I should actually, because this is the Ace Beauté Le Lip Formula. And these are really beautiful. These lipsticks are stunning. And this, the formula that Ace Beauté did for the lipsticks is beautiful. But I'm going to keep the shades that I know I'm going to use. And these are just very dark and also these stickers had like they told me yeah because if i look at the stickers here you can probably see that there's no name here but it actually is a sticker they just made the black text on the sticker so that was a mistake when the samples went out but they fixed that with the actual lipsticks so it's just me this one i love i've used this so many times this one is in sincere i've used this so many times this one we're definitely keeping Maybe we'll save this one as well, the one that's like the second to, uh, like, I think this is called Gratitude. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so unsure. This is a sparkly gloss or lip oil, so we're gonna actually get rid of that one. I really do like these liquid lipsticks, though. I think these are such good colors. I think this one is a lip oil. We're saving that one. How do I know? This is the one that's called Applause that I kept calling applesauce. Oh my god. How do I know which ones are glosses? I don't. This is a liquid lipstick. We're keeping that one. This is a liquid lipstick. That's a little dark. Maybe let's get rid of that one. That is a liquid lipstick. I think we're saving that one. It's light red. That's a liquid lipstick. We're saving that one. That is also a liquid lipstick, but it's a little dark. So let's get rid of that one. That one looks like a liquid lipstick too. So let's save that one. And that means that these should be glosses. Yes, that is a gloss. 
Let's see which glosses we like the most. Do I need both? I, I can save both. These are pretty new to my collection. I'll save both. We will be perfectly fine. What I want to do now is that I want to bring in, because I have these, and I have this one. So, and maybe, let me see if I can. Oh my God, I'm struggling. Struggle but us. So I'm hoping that this makes sense, that you can like see everything good. So I have these two left. These are the two that I have left. And then I think we've gone through everything, except of course, if something is in my, like with all my other declutters, if something is in my haul pile, which I haven't hauled them yet, or if they're in my review pile, so I haven't reviewed them yet, they're not gonna end up in this video. I hope you understand. We have a couple of things here that I am a little skeptical towards. And the main reason is, and I think you can see the common denominator, they're too sparkly for me. I don't do super sparkly lips. If you do, these are great. These are the Nomad glosses and the Michaela and Glam like glosses, but I just, I don't do stuff like that. At least not like that. Oh. <laughs> this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipstick and I think this is called Sugared. Yeah, Sugared. The, do you see? It's like fluorescent. It's so neon and it dries down so unflattering. And you saw that I saved the other two uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I think those are pretty good. This one is just atrocious. First of all, the color is atrocious. It's such an unflattering neon, like white based coral. I don't like this at all. I thought this was going to be an orange, but I, I, yeah, let's declutter that one. I just don't understand at all. I have these from Fawn. I haven't really talked a lot about these, but this is a serum lip gloss and an orange lip oil. Obviously, I think both of these are really pretty. For some reason, they slipped through the cracks and I haven't been reviewing them, but I'm reviewing them now and letting you know that I like both of these. And I think that Fawn is an indie brand and they had this as a bundle like an orange bundle. This one is so fun as well. This is, this is sparkle that I can do. And somehow I, this one just transfer, like translates better on the lips. This is a lime green because it has like a little bit of it. Well, now I put it over a swatch, but it has a little bit of a base, almost like a beige base. And then it is a like burgundy to lime green shift to it. It's just so cool on the lips. This is from uh, Lethal Cosmetics and it is in Limelight. So it is one of their duochrome glosses. I'm gonna save this. I honestly think that that is really cool. These two lipsticks by, these two lipsticks by Glamlight and Michaela, they are just showing that me and Michaela, we just don't have the same taste when it comes to lipsticks. This one is fine. This one is fine. I might actually save that one, but this one, I don't know the name of this one, but it is, I, I, my, this is lighter than my concealers. Actually, let me go and get one of my concealers and I can show you because this is, <laughs> this is lighter than my concealers. It is so crazy whitish peachy beige. I just, it's not for me. Let me actually go and swatch one of my concealers because I was shocked when I put this on my lips. This is my concealer of choice. This is the Huda Beauty in Sugar Biscuit. Let's actually, like, do you, do you see that? <laughs> yeah, this is why I don't love that color. It is, it is, it's, it's a lot. It's a choice. Ooh, we have some luxury here, I see. Okay, this one I really like. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip in Grapefruit. I do prefer the other one more, the plumping one, but I still love this enough, so we'll keep that one as well. And the House Labs uh, PHD, people keep saying, me, saying to me that this is called the PH Lip Oil. No, it is actually called the PHD Hybrid Lip Oil. I didn't make this name up, okay? Gaga did. Don't blame me for this. I, I know what a PhD is. My husband has a PhD. But this is supposed to be an orange lip oil that changes color, but it becomes a little bit more of a... It still has that orange undertone, but it just becomes a little bit more pink. So it actually becomes a kind of a flattering coral lip oil. And I like it. And I like the formula. So we're definitely keeping that one. 
We all know by now that I am a big fan of lip oils. This one I really like as well. This is the Vive Lip Dew, and this is meant to be a lip oil, but I think that this one reminds me, it's like a lip oil, lip oil liquid lip balm hybrid, because it is very, it's very balmy and like cushiony and almost pillowy in the formula. This one is in Pesca. I really like this one. I think that this is so good. Like, good, good. Really good. <laughs> oh, is this the $70 lipstick or $78 lipstick? I don't even remember. This is from Dries Van, Van Noten. Did I say that correctly? Dries Van Noten? I don't know. But this one is in... Let's see if I can see the color. No, this is attached now. But it is actually... You can like fill this up this is maybe i could have put it here huh but it's one of those where you can put your own lip color in so i bought a refill and i bought this case it is really pretty you can see the name of the brand here it was very expensive i bought this out of a recommendation from uh, michelle wong i will say i have used it quite a lot and i do really like it is it worth that amount of money that i don't know but it is very pretty and very very flattering i think it is called like something something nude I, I don't remember. Okay, I have some lipsticks from Gucci. Um, this one is a limited edition one that's not available anymore. This is the Girl from Paris. It's like a burnt orange. Really pretty, not available anymore. And this is in the Painted Veil. This is one of the sheer formulas. It's really, really pretty. I need to use my Gucci lipsticks a little bit more often. Can I just say that? I showed you this one from before, but I also have one. I think this is called Lynette Beige. Lynette Stone. I have one in a, like a cool tone beige as well. This is a really pretty formula. And then I have this one in a Royal Scandal. This is a true taupe satin. It is, this is cool tone. Like, look at that. That is, that is taupe. It, it really is cool on and I really do like it though. And I'm actually so happy I have it. But this is cool tone. If you're looking for a cool tone lipstick, this one, a Royal Scandal, it is so cool toned. Okay, I don't think any of these are Gucci. Oh, this one is Gucci. This one is Agatha Orange. This is the glittery one. I think I might get rid of this one because I don't like their glittery formula because it is gritty. So actually, I'm going to get rid of this one. Sorry, Gucci. Your glitter lipstick is not that good. This is the Crushed Lip Color in Bare. And this is also the Ola Johnson and Bobbi Brown collection. We talked about this in my uh, Highlight of the Clutter. I will say I never used this one. But I guess this is a collector's item, so I'll keep it and we can see if I can use it some more. This is the Pillow Talk. Oh, this is that one. I think this is called like Happy Kiss something, Hyaluronic Happy Kiss. I think this is thick and gloopy on the lips. Um, it's very similar to how this one looks on, the Maracuja Juicy Lip. But I think that this one is more comfortable and more affordable. So don't get the Happy Kiss from Shelly Tilbury. I don't think it's worth the price. This is another one of my uh, lipsticks from Lancome. And this is an orangey balm. This is really beautiful, actually. This is in number 323, th Shine Your Way. But... I don't use this enough, but I'm gonna keep it because I want to, because it's like a beautiful orange. It's just such a shame. This is from ABH. This is in Butterscotch, I think. Really pretty color. It's like a yellowy beige nude, but this needs to be ombre in the worst way possible. I need the darker lip liner, but I still think that I can get away with it. That is like as light as I can go. Then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This is the glowing lip. This one is really pretty. This one is really pretty. I'm super happy I have it. And then we have the Charlotte Tilbury in Super Fabulous. This is like a 90s, like mid-tone grungy brown. It's really beautiful. It, it's a it's super stunning color if you want to try something that's not super nude. And then it is the Walk of No Shame, which honestly, such a nice wearable red cannot recommend this color enough i also have what i don't know where maybe in a purse i have this one in the walk of no shame as well but yeah i can't see it here so i don't know where it where it went and then i have two colors from lisa eldridge here this one is in velvet affair looks like this and then i also have it in velvet decade which is darker like a darker like almost cocoa 
really pretty. I also bought one of the more glowy sheer lipsticks and that is so beautiful, but it's not here because it's still in my haul pile, but oh, that is a super, super stunning, super stunning lipstick. Okay, so I have one left here and we'll see if some of the things that I've been talking about show up or if they're like in a bag somewhere. Here's the other one of the Makeup by Mario ones. This is in Honey Glow. This one doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's a beautiful color. And then we have more of the Sephora Lip Stories. This one is in number two, Landing in Shanghai, which is a really nice satin very nice nude color and then it is the 77 primal instinct which is the if i reach for a mustard yellowy lipstick this is the one and it's very affordable in the grand scheme of things and you can find it at sephora at the lip story so yeah that one is really pretty oh we have one more here we have a couple more here okay so i really like this form <laughs> this one is number 31 golden gate yeah golden gate this is pretty much the only like berry color i have and i really like this one so i'm gonna keep it because those colors are not that common in my collection and this is labyrinth city i love a color like this like a muted bricky red keeping that one as well and then i have number six tan lines also really beautiful this is more a neutral beige nude and it's just really really pretty okay this one I didn't love the Just a Tint by Colourpop, but this one from the High School Musical, huh, this one is called Cello. This one is a sheer red and it is just so pretty. I've worn this quite a lot, actually. This is such an affordable way to try a really nice sheer red and it smells a little bit like passion fruit, I would say. Yeah, I, I will say the High School Musical eyeshadow palette wasn't the best, but this lip tint in Cello, and the blush in playoffs oh my god they're so good i'm i don't want to say i'm shocked i'm not shocked but like they're really good this kiko milano um dreamy glossy dream lipstick oh this is a sheer lipstick in glossy dream it's a really pretty color do i ever use this one i feel like kiko milano like nothing really happened there i don't know what happened but this is a beautiful lipstick i'm gonna save it and the packaging is stunning this is a really affordable brand and then we have this one in hot irl this is the color is shine by l'oreal this one is old should i get rid of this like this is embarrassingly old and this is pretty similar to that one you know what i'll get rid of this it's so old it is so old I don't want to admit to you how old this is, but let's let's just get rid of it and not talk about how old it is. I have the ColourPop and Star Wars lipsticks here, and I don't think I'm going to keep all of these. They're really pretty, though, like this one with the... It's really dark, though, and I don't wear lipstick like this that are that dark. Or this red. It's so pretty, but like... Yeah. I think the one that I'm going to be keeping is this one that is called Dark Lord. Because I'm more likely to be using this one, right? And I do love that it's the Star Wars. Because, like, I'm a big Star Wars fan. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. This is actually pretty new in my collection. This is Filler Instinct by NYX. And this is a plumping, glowy lipstick. And I found one at Target. I think it's really nice. I'm going to keep it. I mean, I've only had it in my collection for a really short time. I got mine in the shade Sugar Pie. I think it's really nice. It's beautiful and it is a little plumping without hurting too much. This is also from Kiko and this is the shiny lip stylo in number one. These are stunning. <laughs> These are stunning. Look at that color. It's almost like a lavender sheer pink. I don't have anything like that in my collection. Well, you've seen it. So I'm actually going to keep that one. This is, oh, this is so beautiful. Wait, I need to get, what is this color? I, oh, I threw away the cap. I don't know what color this is. It is so beautiful. It's from Sara, and now I will never know what color this is. That sucks, because it is stunning. But like, oh my god, I got on my nails. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. It is really beautiful, though. But it's very similar to this. What was this one? <laughs> what was this one? That was the one from Kiko, right? Okay, let's just save the one from Kiko. Because I, why is there no... Like, I understand this whole refillable thing, but, like, it becomes a little annoying. Okay, I know I'm, I'm, no, I'm like... Yeah, I hear myself. I hear myself. Don't worry about me. I hear myself. This is from Kiko Milano. This is the Yelly Stylo in number 510. 
and I feel like this was the one that was a little bit more pigmented, right? Yeah. This was the one that was a little bit more pigmented, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this one because I know from using this one that I didn't like this one as much as I like the other ones. And, oh, we have some of the glowing, glowing lips. I like all of these. I have these in some different colors and I honestly think that these are really nice. I think this is a really nice formula. Uh, I wish this was orange as the, uh, the packaging. And I think I'm gonna save all of these. Wait, this is the blotted lip. This one I'm getting rid of. I don't like the blotted lip. You get to go, bye-bye. This is the glowing lip as well. So I like this formula a lot. I actually think this is a really nice formula. So I am keeping it because yeah, I like it. And then we have this one from e.l.f. This is the glowy hydrating core lip shine. And I have mine in Sherry or Sherry, Sherry, not Sherry, Sherry. And it is surprise, surprise in orange. Um, yeah, did I tell you I like orange? Because I do. I'm gonna get rid of these because I honestly wasn't that impressed with these. This is the Lippy Duo by Colourpop. I kind of wish that they would have had... It is skimpy and cookie. That is nice. No, Wild Nothing, Candy, Paint, Brink, and Parker. I mean, these are really classic colors, but somehow I just... I don't know. Should I not be so harsh on these? Maybe. So this is Parker. Which one was the cookie one? Because that one I know I like. Skimpy lip pencil and cookie lipsticks. You know what? I'll save that one. Because that one is really pretty. I know that from before. Candy paint? Oh, that was darker. Oh my god, I'm trying to. But this was from the... I don't remember the... It was like... I remember the collection, but it came out this year. And then I have two more lipsticks from Colourpop. And these I am saving because these are like really original colors in my collection. I don't have something like this. And this is the Mrs. Norris. Very cool tone. I love a color like this from time to time. And then we have Check Please. I, the way I want Colourpop to come back with this one. This is this is orange. Like, look, it's so... Please, Colourpop, for the love of everything, can we just have Check Please back? Just for a collection. Look at how pretty that is. We all need that. Please. It's so beautiful. Whoop. And this is the Color is Shine. This one is Shot of Sun. This is also old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But this one is actually newer, because this one is the Color is Shine Nectarine Plump. And it's orange. <laughs> it is orange. Oh my god. But it's beautiful. So we're keeping it. Oh, I am so predictable. I'm so predictable. Don't take a shot every time I'm saving something that's orange. You are going to be blackout drunk. Okay, let me get rid of these. Let me wash my hands. And then we can count how many lipsticks I'm getting rid of. I can't believe that I filled one of these up. Because this is how deep it is. And it is filled. So I think I'm just going to pull from this one and I'll pull from here to here and we'll see how many I decluttered because it's, it's a lot, but yeah, I've also added a lot of lip products this year. I feel like a lot of brands have come out with lip products this year and I've also discovered some new favorites, which means that old favorites has been getting the boot, but let's see how many of these are. Did this one happen to be in here? This one isn't meant to be in here. We're taking this out. 71, 72. And 11, 112, 113, 114, 115. Okay, 
that is it 115 lipsticks gone almost 116 but i wasn't meant to throw this out i must have had a, a misstep there somewhere but yeah this is the amount of lip products that i'm getting rid of and i will say there has been a lot of lip products released this year and there's been a lot of collections where more than one lip product has been included and also there has been some lip products that has been dethroned like these for example so yeah some lip products are getting out of my collection but some also came into my collection and i hope you enjoyed this declutter series of this year if you missed any of the episodes i will leave the playlist in the description box this is episode 5 of 2022 and i also have of course a full playlist with my other years as well because this is not the first year that i'm doing a declutter so if you are at all interested in seeing what my collection has looked like before or if you just want to binge watch a bunch of declutter videos i will leave the playlist in the description box anyways thank you so much for being here do not forget to subscribe and i will see you again tomorrow for a new video bye